Case, case, baby. Do, 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 do. Case, case, baby. Revelator Al. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So this video is purely and simply a final review, final verdict of the Kais heated products that I've been wearing uh, all winter. And lots of my videos have featured me wearing the gloves and this jacket and uh, the little beanie hat as well. So let's just get into it. Okay, let's start from top to bottom, shall we? Uh, the beanie hat, yeah, it's uh, it's a good quality beanie hat, and it's uh, served me well on many uh, outdoor expeditions. Let's say, uh, getting off the bike, I've actually kept it in my uh, panniers in my saddlebags uh, the whole winter as well. So every time I get off the bike, block this on, go and do my bits. If I'm doing a bit of outdoor filming or whatever, it's been really biting cold. Get one of these. It is a beanie hat, right? You know, it's it it is it it does what it says on the tin, as it were. So that's all good. Right, uh, let's take the gloves off. Let's go for the jacket now. So this is the long sleeve jacket, and I've got to say it's been absolutely brilliant. Now you can attach your gloves to it as well, the heated gloves uh, to it as well. The full review of this is up there when I first got it, but I've got to say throughout the winter it's been absolutely brilliant in fact a little bit too brilliant in that it is really really hot now i met quite a few people on the road uh, when i've been wearing this and i got into the discussion about heater gear and jackets and we've all kind of come to the same uh, agreement let's say of the people that i've met that having the sleeves the heated sleeves especially in the middle of winter is really really good uh, as opposed to having the uh, the the cut off sleeve one, um, it just seems as if you're warmer all over. Now, bear this in mind, uh, it does add a little bit of bulk to your sleeves as well. So I've got one that's a little bit too big for me, especially as I lost quite a bit of weight uh, over the winter period as well, last year and into the winter period as well. So it is a little bit bulky. So I would definitely say, make sure you get the right size that is quite tight fitting if you're gonna be putting a jacket over the top as well and you have, you've got limited space. That's all I would say. The other thing that I've noticed as well with this, uh, Kais actually sent me uh, this controller, this temperature controller, which is brilliant, okay, works really well. But if you put it on the high setting, that is really, really toasty. You don't really want to have too many layers underneath as well, because you're just going to be too hot and you're going to be too bulky as, as well. Uh, and I like to have a lot of movement as well. So I would say go for thinner base layers underneath. And you'll probably find that in most cases that the amber or the green would uh, would work fine, the lower settings. Yeah, you could go for a quick blast on the high setting, but I would say the lower setting works really well. Make sure you have sleeves uh, as a base layer as well, because again, it gets really warm and you do start to feel it on your skin as well. Not to a dangerous level, but you do start to feel it, especially if you're riding for a long period of time. So anyway, that's the jacket. The other thing that I would say about this controller, this separate controller which I found, is when you try and put the gloves through this as well, and then try and use this. This doesn't work for some reason. It doesn't let you power the jacket or regulate the temperature of the jacket and the, the gloves. I don't know if it's a fault with them. I don't know if it was a, an issue with it or whatever. So anyway, so I've just got two separate circuits on my bike, one for the gloves and one for this. So it, it works absolutely fine. Uh, but again, temperature control is really good the jacket works really well uh it's not too bulky but you kind of have to change the way you wear clothes as well the great thing about this jacket as it were is that when you get to your destination you take off your motorbike jacket and you can store it away somewhere and you just walk around in this and it's just a perfectly nice walking around jacket and it's still really warm you got separate batteries which you can get for this and i reviewed those as well up there um you can put those in here as well and it keeps the jacket warm as well you've got the separate batteries for gloves which i'll talk about in a moment as well uh, they're reviewed up there as well uh, so 
you know, there's there's lots of options to have these wired to the bike, and I would always suggest that go for the wired option if you're going for long journeys, or the battery option as well. But the jacket, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's talk about the gloves. Right, the gloves, uh, watch the review of the gloves as well up there. Uh, they have been really, really good throughout the winter months. Uh, I've ridden in all the temperature conditions, sub-zero, uh, in the middle of the night, uh, two, three, four o'clock in the morning, you know, on horrible roads, uh, long distances, short distances, all over. Much of my riding, uh, when I'm really using this uh, kind of uh, equipment, is in the middle of the night, so I don't really capture a lot of video footage of it, uh, but I say it's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, and it works great with you know the the jacket as well and everything else that you you'd be wearing in the winter months. The only thing I would say about these gloves, what I've noticed over a period of time, is this: is that on the higher settings, it doesn't seem to be as warm uh, as when I first got it. It it seemed to be less warm. Now I do have a problem with my hands, and I do feel the cold quite a lot, as I would say. So when I first got the gloves, they seemed to be really warm in the higher setting, and I would always ride with the higher setting, I should say. And but now it's you know if it's a really cold day, what I've ended up doing is putting in these sort of liners, uh, and it helps with that, and it just keeps me a little bit more, more warm and toasty. So that's the other thing. Okay, uh, these I would say are. Again, I've lost a bit of weight, and I would just believe I've lost a bit of weight in my hands as well. But even when I got them, whilst they were normal riding operations, they're absolutely fine. The dexterity is great, no problem. As I make videos as well, I need my gloves to be a little bit more uh, tight on the fingers, as it were, uh, so I can uh, press the small buttons. So I found they've been a little bit cumbersome in operating small little uh, bits of uh, camera equipment, lighting equipment, let's say, uh, adjusting small things uh, on the bike. Again, it's a, it's a minor thing, but I would say if you're going to get these, and all winter gloves are the same, they are quite bulky. These are not as bulky as some others I've uh, reviewed or tried as well. But if you can get some ones that are really finger tight, I mean, if there's technology out there, by Kais, let's say, or any other manufacturer, to make these as slim line as possible and have a liner that is the thermal liner that is really, really you know, hot, let's say, uh, but you can really do fine detail with, and it's waterproof and it's got armor in, then I think that's a golden ticket for me as a content video creator. But they're just a little bit bulky at times and they are a bit cumbersome. But for normal riding, which most people would do, they're absolutely fine. All I would say is that the temperature seemed to just drop off a little bit as the months went on. Uh, but again, great. Now the wiring that you put through under your jacket as well, absolutely fine yeah it is a bit of a faff putting them down your motorcycle jacket and everything but it works really well i thought when i first got it that you you know it was a bit cumbersome but it isn't really it's absolutely fine um what you probably end up doing is this and this is kind of a top tip here you put the cable through your jacket and then you clip them on like so okay and then you just leave them dangling while you get on your bike and, and i'll tell you why when you actually get to connect this part to the socket that's on your on your bike, the socket's got a little cap on it. And watch that little video there. Um, it's got a little cap on it, and it's quite fiddly to uh, take off. And with the gloves, the big these big gloves, you can't really grip it properly. So you have to do it with your with your hands as they are, your naked hands. Then clip it in. Exactly the same for the jacket. Then clip it in then you're ready to go, then you put your gloves on, then you fire up your bike. Once the bike has started and the engine is running, then power is then sent to these, uh, to the gloves and to your jacket, then you can make your adjustment temperature control on the jacket and also on your gloves with either buttons there as well. So it's a kind of a, a way of using them that best suits you. And you'll figure this out, it's not really you know, rocket science here. But I just found it was just like, okay, I can't put the gloves on until I've clipped in. I can't really clip in with the gloves on because they're too cumbersome. So therefore, you just find a way of doing it. 
The other thing as well, uh, which I found, where you put the sockets on your bike is kind of crucial to de depends on what time of day you're riding so if it's in daylight it's not really a problem because you can actually see where you are but if it's in the dark then you're going to be faffing around trying to struggling to find the connectors so you want them readily accessible uh but um but they have to be secure as well so that's something to bear in mind i put them right at the front of the seat at the base of the tank as well so watch out you might get some wearing on the tank uh based upon that so you know you might have to play with that but it's just something to bear in mind they can be a bit tricky because they're a bit you know they're cumbersome let's say they're big and bulky but they're not that big and bulky just to attach everything but once you've got everything attached they're absolutely absolutely great to go so i've been one of these kais inspiring riders uh, all winter and i've got to say i don't think i've been very inspiring at all really i've just been using these to the best that i can or have re reviewed them given my honest opinion uh, i've tried to put them through all sorts of riding conditions road riding off-road riding with the heroic harley uh taking them through uh different weather conditions temperature conditions um in the middle of the night uh working on the bike on the side of the road with these on uh still trying to have the bike power power these whilst i'm trying to fiddle with something on the bike using the batteries as well uh to have these uh you know powered as i'm walking around if it's been really biting cold so you know overall i put them through a decent test i would say and the only thing the only negative i would say is that the temperature seemed to drop off on the higher setting as the months went on and there didn't seem to be any noticeable difference between the higher setting and the medium setting that's why i ended up going for the the gloves but they still work and they're still absolutely fine um the other thing i would say as a negative this is not a product negative it's more as how i'm using it it's just the the dexterity required to operate cameras and small buttons you kind of have to take your your hand out and so on uh, of the glove let's say just to operate everything but you know there's no getting around the fact that if you're going to be riding in winter uh, with these kinds of products there is a little bit of preparation time you have to feed this through your you know your jacket and you have to put everything on so there are cables uh, you know coming out everywhere let's say uh, and then you have to connect everything up so it's not a case of just hopping on your bike and away you go um, there's been lots of times when I've been riding with these and I've had them connected because I thought it was going to be a really cold ride and in the end it wasn't cold at all so they were connected but you know not being used so you know it gives you that they're still warming as it were still give you lots of good thermal protection um, even without any power on so they've been really good and I, I would say coming into spring now as we are I would say still use them uh, but as a, as a normal glove without any power to them they're still great until the temperatures really uh get warmer and then away you go but you know overall final verdict i know i've harped on a little bit here but final verdict the gloves brilliant the the jacket brilliant and a beanie hat was well, a beanie hat you know it's good advertising isn't it uh you know that's kept me warm as well especially for somebody like me who hasn't got any hair uh but anyway would i recommend kais to anybody else absolutely i would uh great product waterproofing absolutely brilliant armor great general glove heated glove absolutely fine but i think the piece de resistance as it were is the jacket i i really really like this jacket i think it's great warming just get the right fit so it's not too bulky underneath your bike jacket but it's a fantastic product the, the gloves are fantastic as well but i just found this to be so much warmer in fact it was a little bit too warm at times uh but say overall brilliant product uh, from kais so there we go the inspiring riders program is coming to an end i, I believe kais kais baby yeah they were really really good that's all i got to say really but if you're gonna go for this uh body warmer i wouldn't go for the body warmer myself I would go for the long sleeve ones, uh, especially if you're feeling it in your arms as well. And I also say, the final thing about the jacket, 
if you've got a, a, a lighter weight jacket and you don't want to invest in a winter weight jacket, let's say, you'll get away with a, a lighter weight jacket and using one of these underneath as well. Absolutely fine. And that's where the, the sleeves, the heated sleeves, are so much better, in my opinion, than just having the body warmer. But that's entirely up to you. Anyway, links in the description below for Kais uh, and all their apparel and all the links to the, the gloves and everything like that. You go to the website, it's all, it's all there. Uh, but anyway, check out all my previous videos of how to install them, the reviews and everything like that. It's all, it's, all on the, it's all on the channel as well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, and check out the website, revelatoralf.com. Lots of great information there right now. Catch you again. Ta-da. Thank mm -hmm. you.